What's good, y'all? Welcome back to a brand new comic reaction. This time we got issue two of Savage Avengers. Man, it's been some time, hasn't it, since we last saw this. So, yeah, the first issue was pretty cool across the board. We had Conan going against Wolverine. That was a pretty damn cool fight. Um, we saw the Punisher visiting his, you know, his his wife, his kids, grave. So hopefully we see more of the Punisher in this issue, and maybe even Venom. Venom only had like a slight cameo in the last issue, so hopefully see him here because I want to see all these guys working together because it's gonna be boss. Venom, the Punisher, and Wolverine take my fucking money. Anyway, so let's just jump right to this. But Conan versus Wolverine again. On the cover. So this should be some good shit. Let's go. Got this. Got um. What else? What else is releasing this week that I'm reacting to? Uh, Spider Gwen's also out, as well as the first issue of Black Cat is out as well right now, which I'm looking forward to that one because I love me because I love me some Black Cat. Kind of Marvel also dropped this week, with, but that one I'm gonna read on my own time. I don't feel it. I'm not gonna react. I might one day. I might react. Start reacting to Captain Marvel, but not right now. I got enough books. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so let's just jump right into this. In the early 1940s, the reach of the Great War extended... The gr Wait, you mean World War II? Why are you calling it the Great War? Extended to every corner of the globe. Men got... Men... Men got... Got... got what is that? French? German? Tens of millions were killed, and untold numbers were wounded. Nice run, mate. One more down. Pull up! Pull up on your 12! Next page. There we go. At least this hero of the... At least this hero of the Dunkirk event... Hey, Dunkirk! I love Dunkirk. Where's that? Oh, yeah, I got my... The Blu-ray of Dunkirk somewhere in that pile. Right over there, Blu-rays. Dunkirk's... And Dunkirk was such an amazing movie. I'm so hyped to see a general, general, uh, Christopher Nolan's latest movie. It is weird that Hans Zimmer isn't going to be doing the soundtrack. It's like those guys are like a pack, pretty much a package deal. So it's weird not seeing him do the soundtrack for one of his movies. But hey, hey maybe I don't know if he wasn't available or he just like, nah, let me give let me get someone else. Or maybe he just didn't he bought someone else. I don't fucking know. Because whenever you think Christopher Nolan, you always think Hans Zimmer. It's like George Lucas was, it's like Star Wars and John Williams. You know? Anyway, anyway. In Dunkirk evacuation met a quick death in the savage land. Not every man is so lucky. Stories persist of, of mysteries, energy portals that seem to swallow planets and ships. Planes and ships. Some of the stories were even true. Next page. Like the one about Jo Joanne? John John Jonna? Johnny? Jenna Jenna how the hell do you say his name? John John Richard. A a life a Luftwaffe, a Luftwaffe pilot d ditched his plane during the during a dogfight and ended up fighting dinosaurs. The savage land. After many months of fighting, he arrived in the city sure that should not exist, ruled by a man who shouldn't be there. Where is this place? Where am I? Next page. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> yeah. Ah, my first student has arrived from the sky. I am Kulan Goth! Who are you? I'm sorry, I do not know you, good sir. Fear me! Obey me! You will be granted POWER! Disappoint me and you will beg for a death that will never come. Now, kneel! What do you offer me? Wait, is he actually kneeling? Oh, wait. I think there's some vines wrapped around him. Now, kneel before Zod! Kneel! Gah! Yes! Your heart is perfect! Arise and begin your education! Yeah! Savage Avengers Chapter 2 Death 
proof. Alright, next page. The Nazis was the only student of of, Ka, of Kalangath. The Nazi was the only student of Kalangath to survive the 20th century. Today, he is a priest of the priest of Sickles. Kill him, murderer! The crimson, the crimson bands. Die! How do they not hold you? Stop! Never! <laughs> sorry, Vo sorry, voodoo. Next page. Oh shit! So yeah, that motherfucker's dead. You got the Lazarus piss anyway? <laughs> you hear me? Fuck! Ugh. I know it ain't a blood type match for. I know I ain't no blood. Uh, no, I ain't a blood type match for voodoo. But maybe my high octane mutant blood will give me give him a shot. This ain't the first time I've had to use my hand. I've had my hand uh, on a heart. Oh shit! Wait, so oh shit! He's cutting open his hand so he bleeds. So to give voodoo his blood to revive him. Is he gonna stop like Is he gonna get any Logan's mutant powers from any of this? Like, is he gonna get, like, a healing factor or anything? I don't know. Oh, shit! He's legit removing his heart! <laughs> but this is the first time I'm trying to get one to beat again. Come on, voodoo. I ain't got all day. Damn it. Next page. Eh. Was worth a shot. Sorry, Jericho. <gasps> Next page. So Voodoo's alive and kicking. Good. Eh, never even heard of this character till now, but you know, okay. So yeah, because I knew he was like on the cover part of the team. I'm like, oh shit, he's dying already. The evil, the evil sorcerer, Kal, Kal, Kalan, Kalangoth, was once again displaced in time. His summoning spell requires the blood of those who spill blood, and his traps lure a very unexpected warrior. While in the savage land, Conan the Barbarian, Conan of, Sism, of Simmeria, had heard whispers of an of an amulet of great power hidden within the city of the of Sickles. Oh, yeah, sickles. 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 Yeah, sickles. It was a treasure that Conan could bear, could bar, bar for a weapon more suited for it to the bar, to a barbarian. Okay, oh, that's Conan. Next page. Lightning. For the thunder. A thief! Here, remarkable! Unhand me! You were not who I foresee coming for the amulet. I remember you. Ah! Conan of Sim Simria. Bored of a battle of, on a battlefield, and now you wander. Welcome to the future. Your blood will become a welcome addition to my bowl. Never, wizard! Next page. Oh, shit. Wait, is that Venom? Yo, that's Venom! Or a reflection of him, anyway. Conan was... was loath to free... was loth to free... to free... to free a trap G... G... G. To free the tragedy, but this happened to be the only weapon within reach of his hand. Holy shit, that is Venom! Fool, you released the devil! 
Boom! Wait, so how is... Wait, how is Venom trapped into some glass by the sorcerer when Eddie has him? Where even is Eddie? Ugh. Marvel... Is it too much that you make some sense of your timeline? God, am I asking too much of you guys? Like... Like, it's like, oh, yeah, he's, like, trapped in some bollocks. I'm sorry, Venom, how did you get here? Where is Eddie? You know, like, I don't know. The slithering creature has been, has been trapped so long that the, so that, the, that the solitude has driven him mad. Once again, I ask, where's Eddie? Wasn't he with Eddie? Its anguished scream has, was heard half, half a world away by a fearsome warrior who will soon enter the fight. While Goth ma maimed his prisoner, Conan slipped away. Next page. <sighs> I call it. The, the amulet has been stolen. I was forced to summon the, the alien early. That's unfortunate. There, ha there has to be another comp 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 compilation. The hand, the hands gambit to lure the most p the most pow the most powerful blood here has paid has paid divide dividend dividends until tonight. One of the targets is provided is proven to be a difficult to too difficult to kill. Wolverine. Yeah, that man's a problem. Next page. <sighs> Damn, Wolverine! <laughs> Logan's like, fuck. Is that all you got? Cut between Wolverine's vertebrae! Huh? Huh? Ah, oh, crap, I'll zoom in again. I didn't know how you did what you did. Well, thank you, Logan. Remarkable resistance, but your struggle is now at an added end. Next question. Oh. Oh. I'm the master of the, of the city. Sickles. 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 And your spirits will be the ones to fill our cup. Let death be a mercy. There's no one coming to save you. Where? Ugh. Oh, there's Frank. And a member of the hand. <laughs> nah, these, okay, these are different ninjas. We weren't sure you would fall for such an obvious trap, Punisher. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that. Yeah, that is a hand. Who does? What does that? That they that say? What does that say? Front towered enemy. <laughs> Where? Where's my family? Oh shit! Frank is pissed. All right, so. So Conan is gonna give me the Venom to me. All right. So so far, still a lot of setup getting the team all together. We haven't still have gotten all the team all at once just yet. Well, this is new. All right, let's give this one a read. This was from what's this from? 68. What's this one actually? November of 1968. Stan Soapbox. I lay it right on the line. Bigotry and racism are amongst the- Oh! Oh! We gonna go deep this time, Mr. Lee. Alright, well then, Mr. Lee. Fuck, I don't have anything to drink. <laughs> well, let us see what you gotta say there, Mr. Lee. 
This should be good. This should be very, very good. Let us lay it right on the line. Bigotry and racism are among the deadliest social ills plaguing the, the world today. So back in 68, right, right around, this was like, yeah. I think this might be around the end of the civil rights movement was 68, or it might have been right in the middle, I forget. No, it was like, around the end of it, was Dr. King, did Dr. King already get assassinated by this point? Fuck, I don't even know my own history. Shit! Yeah, whatever. They the plagues this world today. But unlike a team of costume supervillains, they can be halted with a punch in the in the punch in the snow, or a zap from the ray from a ray gun. The only way to destroy them is exposing them, to reveal them for the in, in, the in, in, uh, in, uh, insidious evils they really are. <coughs> you just explained Marvel today. Like literally, all these SJW writers are ironic, are ironically racist and sexist. They always like, you got all these like feminists. They're like, oh fuck, man, fuck, man. You got. I've heard that scene of race is actually straight phobic or whatever it is. Like the dude hates straight guys or something from what I've heard. Apparently, he does not like, or he just doesn't like people that just criticize his work. See, they he instantly calls them homophobic or some shit. I don't know. And you can probably go to other other writers that are like, oh, fuck you, you know, you're sexist, or this, or that. Like, everyone's like, you, if you're white, you're, uh, you, you're the scum of the earth. If you're a man, you're the scum of the earth. If, you, if you're not gay, you're the scum of the earth. <laughs> or some shit like that. I don't, know. I don't know. But let's keep reading. This is getting good. This one's getting good. Okay, expose and reveal for the insane they really are. The bigot is an unreasonable hater, the one who hates who hates blindly, fanatically, in city and in, in, in city crimin, criminate and in 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 in, in, in discriminatory. I have to look that word. I can't really read because it's kind of like a guy blocks into the two lines here. So I'm, I'll have to look that one up on my own just to know how to pronounce it right. Uh, where was I? Criminally. If his hang-up is black men, he hates all black men. <laughs> God damn, what's that? You a fucking savage. <laughs> if it's a red, if it's a red, what redhead who offends him, he hates all heads. I take offense to that. I love redheads. I, you guys know me. I got a thing for redheads. For the females, anyway. I got a thing for redheads. So I take offense to that one. How, how could anyone hate redheads? They're the best times. <laughs> Alright, we're back. <laughs> ah, I know. Cut right there. Now, I feel like, oh, you know, the my camera's freezing up a little bit, so I was like, oh, shit. Let me... So, let's get back to where we were. Okay. Okay, hates all redheads. You guys know. I took offense to that. You guys know I got a thing for redheads. I I swear it was because of MJ. Ever, I, either that because red's my favorite color. It's one of those two options. Why? I, why? For as long as I can, for as long as I've actually found women attractive. I've had a thing for redheads. <laughs> anyway, but whatever. Let's keep going. Okay, if some foreigners beat him into a job, he dow he's dowed on all foreigners. He hates people never he never sees, people he's never known with equal intensity, with equal venom. Now we're now we're not trying to say it's unreasonable for uh, for one human being to bug another. But although anyone has the right to dislike any another individual, very true. It's total irrational, potential, patental, pat, pen, patently insane. Pat, pat, I know what word this is. Fuck. Fuck. I can't think. I can't remember how to say it. Patently insane to condemn an entire race, to despise an entire nation, to vilify an entire religion. Sooner or later, we must learn to judge each other on our own merits. Sooner or later, if man is ever to be worthy of his death of his destiny, we must fill our hearts with tolerance. For then, and only then, will we truly be worthy of the concept that man was created in the image of a, of God, a God who calls us all. His children. Paz ed judis, judistia. I swear it's probably some more Latin. Any of y'all speak Latin, please translate. Stay yo. That one actually might be my favorite, actually, my new favorite. I thought the last one where sadly was being an absolute savage was, was just amazing to me, but this one, 
This was back in the fucking 60s. 68. This was during the Civil Rights Movement and everything. He's out here condemning these fuckers. Stan Lee truly was a man ahead of his time. We never, we never deserve, we, what, we do not deserve him, man. This man had the, had balls the size of wrecking balls. Jesus. Stan Lee, truly, truly you are a legend. A god, a legend, a legend. Ah, it sucks that you're gone, man. And the ironic part is he just described modern Marvel. <laughs> That's the ironic part! <laughs> Not all the riots, because, you know, the books I've read, they're all fine. No politics, no nothing. Just, I am shocked there hasn't been a single lick of politics in spider Gwen. <laughs> Thank Christ there hasn't. But, yeah, that's the end of the issue. Overall, this was a pretty pretty good issue. Overall, really, really good. Um, still a lot of setup, which I should, should be expected. This is a completely new team. It's going to take a while for them before we finally see all the team working together. I just want to say Punisher work together with Wolverine and Pat. Give me like a panel, a page, or just like your whole issue just with those three teaming up, and bam, I'll be sold in this comp. But overall, I'll give this one um, a 7.5 out of 10. It was, it was really, it was good, really good. But I definitely liked the last first one a little bit more just because they had that whole fight with him and Conan. This was just set up and everything, just kind of like, and backstory, really. But still good. Still an enjoyable read. So anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did subscribe if you're new. Follow me at, excuse me, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, like, links down in the description box below. And as always, come back for more. See you guys next time.